Hey guys, uh, this is a short video I'm working on, another video which is going to be much longer. But um, this is a $120 Mac Mini that I got off of eBay a couple months ago. Cosmetically, I think that I did scratch it a little bit. Yeah, I put a little chip there from where the keyboard hit it. On the back, this has also gotten pretty scratched up too. That's my fault. But I'm going to show you inside it. That's not an original, that's not Apple RAM. So I didn't know this was four gigabytes um, per stick when I found it, so I thought this was a two gigabyte stick. And so I boot it up and this has eight gigabytes of RAM in it. You can see that it says four G right there, and I didn't know if that meant at first, but both these sticks are the same sticks, four gigabytes. So then I put my 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD in it with El Capitan installed on it. Um, but I ended up actually upgrading it to High Sierra. So about two months after I got it, I decided that um, I really did not like how it was running. It was running a lot um, hotter than I wanted it to. So I reapplied the thermal paste with, um, with, okay. The power just went out. So I applied uh, this thermal paste. As you see here, this is actually dual booted. So we have macOS High Sierra and Windows 7 64 bit. So I'm gonna do macOS High Sierra first. So as you see right here, this is the base model Core i5 model with upgraded RAM. These are the temperatures while editing a 1080p video in Final Cut Pro. And as for performance, this device actually edited this entire video, and it was alright. There was some slowdowns, but after that, this device did good. So would I recommend you buy a 9-year-old Mac Mini? Well, yes. It's great if you get a good deal on it, but the one thing that you always want to do is get an SSD, as the internal hard drives are unreliable and slow. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.